Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dave, and today we are doing a bike check on not one bike, not two bikes, but three bikes, three bikes. And uh, we're gonna start here with this one. This is the Trails bike. This is the S&M bike. If you saw the previous video, that video we did a wheel shootout, and one of those set of wheels landed on this bike. Let's talk about this bike. Let's run through the parts. This thing is ready for the trails, and I'm super stoked. It finally feels like my bike. It fits me. The top tube is great. The back end length, which is super important for me as a racer that also rides dirt. I want to have a long back end, but the wheels really took the poundage off of this bike by switching from those Sunday wheels to these uh, pretty sweet Alien Nation wheels, profile lead hubs and tie spokes. It took just enough weight off the bike that it feels really nice, it runs smooth, and the bike floats in the air. It's great. Let's talk about the parts on it, do a bike check from top to the bottom, and, uh, and then we'll move on to the next one. So to kick this thing off, the heart of this bike is the S&M Credence in a gray matte colorway. We've got the 21.25 inch top tube, and the back end is stretched out to be 14 and 5 eighths inches. Up top, we've got some factory Sunday eight and a half inch rise bars. We've got an Odyssey linear slick cable and an Odyssey single pull brake lever. We've got a Sunday BMX stem and we've got some DK grips on this thing. Jumping up to the front, we do have the 20 inch R32 Odyssey forks. These things are amazing and they feel great up front. Then our drivetrain, we've got the 36 tooth profile Imperial sprocket in the purple colorway. We've got some factory 170 millimeter Sunday cranks and bottom bracket. We've got the Odyssey pivotal seat with the Sunday pivotal seat post. Our stopping power comes from an Odyssey V2 black brake set with some Odyssey brake pads. The wheels you saw, these are the Profile Elite with titanium spokes and Alien Nation front hoop with a mainline 20 by 2.1 tire up front. And we've got the Shadow Conspiracy peg up there. In the back, we've got another Profile Elite Racing 36 hole cassette with some tie spokes and an Alienation TCS rim with the Theory 20 by 2.1 tire out back as well. And we've got that 13 tooth cog on the back. We're sporting a KMC chain with one extra half link put in here for good length in the back end. This bike is ready for some dirt along with these purple Fuker flat pedals that we've tossed on there. We've got some sealed bearings and some chrome molly spindle action. All right, so that's it for this bike. This is the Trails bike, the S&M Credence. Again, this thing is amazing. It's dialed in. Finally feels like my own bike. Every time I was riding the, uh, the Sunday bike, it was just too short. I was gonna loop out on it. I did loop out on it a bunch and uh, it just never felt like mine. And then as I started building this up, it just felt really heavy. Now, I'm, I'm not a weight weenie, but my race bikes are pretty light. And, uh, and I just felt like I was kind of running a tank around a little bit. And so as I put these wheels on and these R32 forks, it really, really changed the feel of this bike. And I love it now. So hopefully I'll see you at some trails. You'll see me riding this thing. That's it for this bike check. It's actually starting to rain. So the next two are gonna come a few moments later. All right, so we've got the, uh, the S&M Credence Trails bike back there in the back. And then this obviously is the Mongoose Title Elite that I'm racing. Uh, we're gonna do a bike check on that in a minute, but I wanted to talk some more BMX science. Science! And we're gonna talk about the wheels. In the last video, I did a BMX wheel shootout between uh, the wheels on the Trails bike, which are Profile Elite titanium spokes and Alienation TCS rims with uh, these that are on my race bike now, which are Profile Elite hubs. Uh, They're 44 BMX uh, jet fuel titanium spokes and the Vega carbon fiber rims. They're real similar to E6 silencers and some other companies that are out there. So if we talk about them in terms of just your standard carbon fiber 20 inch race rim, uh, these Vega rims are comparable to what you might uh, see people racing, pick up, look in the magazine and see. And what we found out was that the Vega, the carbon fiber rims were a little bit heavier 
minimally heavier. I mean, it's not a difference maker, but they were minimally heavier than these Alien Nation. So why would you go with building carbon fiber rims if you could just put the Alien Nation on there? Why does everybody run carbon fiber? So I wanna point out one thing which is based on rotational mass. So we're gonna get as scientific as we can with some very rudimentary tools and we're gonna we're gonna try and break this down. But rotational mass is uh, how much effort does it take to spin this? Well, if you had uh, say a 12 inch wheel, that would be a lot easier to spin with the same amount of force than a bigger wheel. Same difference if you put a 20 inch wheel or a cruiser 24 inch wheel on the same gear, it's gonna be harder to spin the cruiser wheel because it's bigger. We ain't talking rocket science here, people. So why would we go carbon fiber? What we're gonna do is we're gonna measure as best as we can the spoke length because the carbon fiber, where the spoke connects, where you're actually spinning from, that's gonna be in a little bit uh, further. And so the weight of the connection point is actually gonna be smaller on the carbon fiber rims than it would be with the uh, alienation. Now again, there's no disputing the fact that when I measured these wheels, the alienation were lighter than the, the carbon fiber, but that rotational mass should help make up for that and we gain some extra benefits like stiffness um, the carbon fiber has a, a much stiffer response got to race these yesterday they were amazing around the track and felt really good and solid and I love the responsiveness that I got from the carbon fiber so let's get up close to the bikes let's take a look at these measurements and be as redneck as we can science all right, so what I'm gonna do is, while it would be great to measure the actual spoke length on each of these, uh, it's just hard to get into it uh, on the race wheel because I've got a 16 tooth cog versus this wheel, which is running a 13 tooth cog. So while I can see it here, I'm gonna measure from the outside of the hub because I can get to that on both spokes. And I'm just gonna measure from here up to the rim where, where the nipple connects to the rim. I'm gonna do that as best as I can with a tape measure. That's right. This is some Pittsburgh material from Harbor Freight. Not sponsored, but hey, Harbor Freight. Nice tape measure. So here we go. We're gonna measure from down here and we're gonna come up and we're gonna connect to the wheel and we're looking and I can see that this is six and seven eighths length, six and seven eighths inches from here to here. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the carbon fiber because I believe that the carbon fiber is a little shorter, which brings the weight of these connection points in a little lower, which should make it a little bit easier to spin and make up for that slightly additional weight. All right, so bouncing over here now, we have Profile Elite, which I'm gonna take off of this spoke down here. I'm not even sure if that's in the, in the shot, but it looks like it is. So we're gonna measure from there over to here and uh, see what we get. Come on. Right there. So this looks like it's six and three eighths. Six and three eighths of an inch. So it is in fact shorter. And if I take that into account with my math brain and, and spin the wheel, it should be a little bit easier to spin. Now, obviously you still have tire and tube that is sitting outside of that and you're trying to spin that rotation. Uh, but as even with my wife, my wife rides carbon fiber race wheels on her uh, triathlon bike. I'll see if I can put a picture in here and you can see the, the distance of the carbon fiber so tall, again, trying to get that rotational mass closer to the hub so that you have less, uh, less force needed to spin the wheel. Uh, anyway, they do a lot of you know aerodynamic stuff in that sport. We kind of do brute strength stuff in this sport, but every little bit helps. And I think, I think that's why the carbon fiber ends up being so widely renowned. Don't forget, if you wanna check out these hoops or these carbon fiber Vega forks, you can find those at vegaracingbmx.com and get you a sweet setup, which is similar to some of the competitors, uh, but at a fraction of the price. So um, yeah, that's that. Let's talk about this race bike. All right, so this bike starts out as a 2019 Title Elite Pro Double XL frame, and we do have the carbon fiber Vega forks put on this as well. Up top, we've got these bright orange Vans Cult grips, those will be switched out to black later on. But we've got a stock 
Mongoose brake lever and a stock brake cable. Next up is the recent addition here. We do have an S&M Race XLT stem. This is the 49 millimeter in black. Again, these forks, these are the Vega carbon fiber forks for the 20 inch with the tapered head tube. And these do have the gloss black with the green lettering on them. These offer a 20 millimeter option on the, uh, on the hub bolts. Uh, we do have the 15 mil spacers added in here to accommodate this wheel set. Up front is the brand new wheels here that we just built up. This is a Profile Racing Elite front hub, 44 BMX titanium jet fuel spokes, and the Vega Carbon hoop. And we've also got the uh, Araya Sun Accelerate 1.95 inch tire. For our cranks here, we do have the stock Samix cranks. We're running the stock 44 tooth sprocket, and we've got these black Fuker uh, platform pedals on here. Still running flats. Going up just a little bit, we do have this factory mongoose seat and seat post combo deal with the factory mongoose seat post clamp. A lot of people have given me crap about still having this seat on my bike, but I only sit on it when I'm in the gate, so it does just what it needs to do, which is not a whole lot. Next up, how do we stop this thing? We've got some LDC brake arms, and those are holding on to our Cool Stop carbon composite brake pads. Scooting out to the back, Again, we've got this Profile Racing Elite 36 hole hub, some more of those amazing jet fuel 44 BMX spokes seated onto the rear carbon fiber Vega hoop that's got the braking surface on it. We're also running a 16 tooth cog in the back as well. All right, so that's the 2023 ride that I'll be rolling on all of the races. The sprocket may switch. I've been on a 45-16. I just swapped to the 44-16. Trying to get that spin action in, but depending on the track, I may just go back to the 45. Who knows? Uh, I think the back end right now is, when I put the 44 on, it dropped back a little farther than I kind of wanted it to. Uh, I think that was affecting how I raced yesterday. Uh, not that I did bad, but it just didn't, it felt really long. Felt like I was rolling a limo. Honestly, I think it's longer than my cruiser right now. I think if I put a half link in the chain, scoot that back wheel back up, it'll be uh, more like my trails bike. And that'll be similar from frame to frame from cruiser to 20 inch and then into the trails bike as well. So uh, I still got to play around with that, but this is the parts, the components. This is what I'll be rolling next season, 2023, and just took it out this, this past weekend for some fun racing and got a little test rip on it and it was great. It performed really well and I love the feel of those carbon fiber, uh, the, the wheels. The responsiveness was so tight and so rigid and uh, coming out of the gate, it felt quick and good. So that uh, it seems like winning to me. So anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Let's pull the cruiser up and let's talk about the cruiser. It's gonna look real similar to this one, let's be honest, but we'll bring that up right now. All right, so last but not least, we've got the, uh, the Cruiser, the 24-inch race bike back here. This thing just landed third place Gold Cup for the Northeast in 2022. So I'm super stoked to run that Gold Cup three plate all of next year. I get to run it at all the races, uh, no matter where I go. So that's really exciting. But let's take a look at this ride back here. It's gonna look real similar to how it ended the year last year, uh, and actually most of last year, but let's dive into it. All right, last but not least, we're gonna start at the top on this cruiser. We've got another set of the Vans Cult grips up here. These are the black colorway. We do have the Odyssey single uh, pull lever, one finger pull lever, and we've got the factory brake cable on here. You can see the factory cruiser bars as well. These are the Chromoly Mongoose cruiser bars. Up here holding those bars on, we've got another SNM Race XLT stem. This is the 53 mil on this bike. Headed down front here, we've got the carbon fiber Vega 24 inch forks. These are tapered headset with the gloss black and the green logos on them. Let's dive into this wheel set. This wheel set we did a review and talked about last year, but these are the Profile Elite front hub. These are some alloy spokes attached to the 24 inch uh, carbon fiber Vega hoops with the white lettering on them. And we've got the factory 20 by 24 by 1.75 inch Exhilarate tires wrapped around these rims. This bike still boasts the factory seat and seat post combo deal with the factory seat post clamp. 
The drivetrain on this thing is still the factory Samix Cranks, the 175 millimeter. Got a stock uh, 41 tooth sprocket, some black Fuca platform pedals, and we've got a Krupi half-link chain. Out back, we've got a set of stock brake arms with the Cool Stop carbon composite brake pads holding on there for some stop and power. And out back, we do have a Profile Mini. This one's a Mini, but a Profile Mini hub, 18-tooth cog on there. We've got some uh, random red line, I believe, uh, chain tensioners we picked up from Chad. But this wheel set in the back, again, is uh, attached to some alloy spokes with the carbon Vega hoop in the back and an Exhilarate tire as well. All right, so I've done some reviews on this bike before. Uh, obviously, we've, uh, we've got pretty much the same setup that we're running all of 2022 on this bike. So we're gonna just keep it rolling into 2023. That small modification of the stem is really all that we did to get this bike back into tip-top shape. So love how this thing is riding. It may end up getting a paint job at some point, so it's just all black and get rid of the orange stuff on it. But who knows, I'm not that picky about it. I just like riding the bikes and having fun out there on the track so that's it for this video thanks for checking out not one bike not two bike but three bikes three bikes of amazing and fun bike checks that's it for this one hey hit the like button and the subscribe button but let me know what are you changing on your bike for the 2023 season i'd love to hear it put it down in the comment section below we'll catch you guys in the next one peace